of gas. Did you know there's detergent in your car? No, we're not talking about Tide or Cheer. It's another type of detergent. What does it do and how does it affect your engine and your wallet? Well, News Channel 5's John Shaman explains. When you go to fill up your car, what are you thinking? My concern is price. Only price. Other drivers do think about what they're pumping. Additives and detergents and reliability. So what's in the gas that goes into your car? Working with our partners at the Scripps Howard News Service, we collected one gallon samples of regular unleaded and premium fuel from eight national brands across three states. We took our samples to Paragon Laboratories, an independent certified testing facility near Detroit, to find out if all brands are created equal when it comes to detergent. One of the worst things you can do is to go from brand to brand to brand, um, getting the cheapest stuff you can find. Tony Mola of the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence says if you repeatedly fill up with gas that doesn't have enough detergent, deposits can build up, causing your engine to burn more gas. As the deposits build up, they tend to attract more deposits. So it's very much like a, uh, a process that the longer it goes untreated, the worse it becomes. Paragon performed unwashed gum tests, the same test automakers use when spot checking to see if gas meets their standards. Scientists boiled each sample and measured the residue left behind. The more residue, the more detergent, which could equal better gas mileage. In our test of regular unleaded gas, Exxon had the highest level of additives, with 20 milligrams of residue per 100 milliliters. BP and Shell followed close behind, while Marathon, Citgo, Pilot, and Speedway samples each had less than half the amount of additives found in the top three brands. Obviously, the more detergent, the more efficient job it's going to do of cleaning the valves. You pay a premium for gas that's 92 or 93 octane, and in our test, Shell leads the pack with 31 milligrams, followed by BP and Exxon. We found the lowest levels of additives at Speedway, Mobile, Citgo, Marathon, and Pilot. Pilot's 8.8 .8 milligrams is three times less than Shell. But in a statement, company vice president Alan Wright told us, our gas blends meet EPA requirements. We don't put in extra. We always recommend that you try to find one brand of gasoline that you like and sort of stick with it, or at least one location. It's just one more thing to think about the next time you're filling up at the pump. John Shaman, WPTV. News Channel 5. And you can find more about detergents and gasoline as well as an interactive chart that tracks gas prices over the years on WPTV.com. Just click the traffic tab at the top of our homepage.